Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at nuclear fusion, so let's get started. Now just like nuclear fission, nuclear fusion was also seen in National 5 physics, but we'll recap it here as a reminder. So what is nuclear fusion first of all? Well it's kind of the opposite to nuclear fission in that instead of splitting a nucleus apart to produce fission fragments and energy, we're joining together two smaller nuclei instead. So it says here that nuclear fusion is the process of small nuclei joining together to form a larger nucleus with the energy being released. And you can see that in the picture here. So here we've got two nuclei which can fuse together and that forms something called a fusion product. And energy is released in this process. And I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualise this. So here we have two nuclei, hydrogen 2 and hydrogen 3, otherwise known as deuterium and tritium. And if these undergo a nuclear fusion reaction like the one shown here, then that should produce helium plus a neutron. So if we click play, you see the two fuse together there to produce helium and a neutron is fired off. So I'll just show you that again. So we have our deuterium and tritium nuclei joining or fusing together with energy being released in the form of the neutron that is carrying away that energy. Going back to the notes, it says that nuclear fusion occurs constantly in the sun where hydrogen nuclei combine to form helium with the release of energy. So that's why we think of hydrogen as the sun's fuel source because the hydrogen is fusing together to form helium and that is produced to power the sun. So here's the example that we just saw in the simulation. So for example, deuterium and tritium combine to form helium-4 and a neutron. So that's hydrogen-2 plus hydrogen-3 can combine to form helium-4 plus a neutron in a nuclear fusion reaction. So you'll see that going on in the diagram here, or hydrogen-2, which is just a proton and a neutron, and then hydrogen-3 fusing together to form the helium-4, which is two protons, two neutrons, plus a neutron there. And you'll see that tritium was made up of two neutrons and a proton. And we'll just finish off with a wee bit more information about nuclear fusion. So it says that this would be a cleaner, safer, more efficient and more abundant source of power than nuclear fission. But it's not currently in use since experimental fusion reactors do not provide a commercially viable amount of energy yet. So what this means referring to the word commercially is that we're talking about money here. So financially nuclear fusion reactors are not producing the amount of energy that we want to see for the amount of money that it's costing to run them and build them. So we need the amount of energy produced from nuclear fusion reactors to be on par with those produced by nuclear fission reactors or better and we need them to be either the same price or cheaper otherwise it's not really worth pushing to try and get them into use. And lastly we have a note that says since there will be a small difference in mass between the left and right hand sides of a nuclear fusion equation, energy is released but is often not included in the nuclear equation. And so you might see nuclear fusion questions asking you to calculate the energy released in the reaction. And remember we looked at how to do that in the worked example video for Einstein's mass energy equivalence. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.